Every summer in Grand Blue Fantasy, Cygames decides to do some kind of prize event with the Magnafest. This year we got two. On top of a random daily chest reward, we also got a lottery ticket on login. For 13 days we received these until the drawing on the 16th of August. The prizes were better than any previous freebie event we have ever had. Your choice of a gold moon weapon or a zero ticket in tier 1, 100,000 crystals in tier 2 enough to spark and then some, a free grand character or unticketable summon in tier 3, and then in tier 4, at best 2 gold moons. The gap between tier 4 and the rest was so huge many thought we would be lucky to even get tier 3. Cygames even guaranteed that we would receive 2 tier 4 prizes regardless of the results, appearing that they were hedging their bets against many losses, but that's not quite what happened. On the 16th the results were drawn, and we suddenly started seeing many players winning the higher tiers. I myself only got the consolation prize of 2 tier 4s, I received 4 gold moons, but a noticeable amount of people started posting their 100,000 crystal wins. More than would be expected for such a premium prize. Some even won the tier 2 prize twice, which in conjunction with the 10,000 crystals awarded, equals 3 sparks completely for free. I posted a poll to collect some numbers on this, and over a third of the player base won tier 3 or above. In one night, a third of the player base got a free character of their choosing, along with more goodies if they won the 100,000 crystals, while the rest of us got to watch on. The prizes seemed too good to win, so we thought it was a pipe dream, but somehow so many people managed to win it. As expected, many players were upset. People posted their annoyance on social media as the salt levels rose. Depending on your perspective, rightly so. The summer goodies are over now, and for those of us who didn't get any wins, they will have to wait until the end of year roulette to try their luck again. For those who did win, they can put their prizes towards getting a leg up in the upcoming Guild Wars to win even more crystals. In the aftermath, there is now a divide in the community between those who won and those who didn't. So what went wrong? Well first of all, lottery type events like this have happened in the past, though with two key differences. Firstly, they happen outside of the game. Whether it's a physical gacha at Grand Blue Fest or a Mobicoin lottery, Secondly, these lotteries usually have a much narrower grand prize margin. Only a small number of players would win the big prizes. When it's just a few winners, people can feel a little unlucky before moving on with their day, as the vast majority of people they encounter also didn't win. When over a third of the player base wins the big prize, it's much more likely to encounter those winners throughout the day, creating further annoyance at the loss. And on the topic of the grand prize, let's look at the tier 1 rewards. Many players agreed early on that the 100,000 crystal reward in tier 2 was the best prize, so it was strange to see it there instead of in tier 1. If you won the crystals, then you could spark whoever you wanted, mostly nullifying the benefits of the zero ticket. And along the way you would get more characters and summons, further increasing the value, and then any gold moons you collected in the spark could be put towards whatever the tier 1 rewards were anyway. It far outweighed any of the other prizes, not to mention it was more than a single spark, totaling 333 draws. Looking at my poll once again, the amount of people who won tier 1 actually seems appropriate. If this prize was in that tier, then some of the salt would be reduced. Some, but not all. There's still the disparity between tier 4 and the rest of the tiers. If we look at the other prize events Cygames has done, this one really stands out. In the previous Scratcher event, Cygames guaranteed that everyone would win at least one SSR from them, which doesn't present much disparity between prizes when the best you could win was an SSR anyway. Nothing crazy like your choice of a character or a free spark. And in the biggest prize event they do, the Roulette, they have a whole mechanic designed to offset terrible luck. The less draws you win, the more you fill up the bar, which then spawns a special draw that won't stop until it's sure you've drawn an SSR. There can be differences in luck between players, but everyone is guaranteed to draw a few SSRs over the duration of the Roulette. Not to mention, your luck would average out over the two weeks anyway. Rarely do people come out of it completely salty. If you have a bad draw, then there's always tomorrow's draw, and at the end they do the Super Muku draw, guaranteeing 5 SSRs to ensure that everyone has a positive final day of the roulette. This keeps everyone happy. The lottery was condensed into one day, win or lose. It's incredibly rare for the roulette to give players a free spark. They even took away the rock paper scissors multiplier this past one to further neuter that chance. Yet here, a free spark is given away to a noticeable number of players anyway. There's one more prize event to discuss, and that is a similarly failed one. In April 2019, Cygames decided to make a riddle event that awarded 10,000 crystals to the first 100 players to solve it. This caused an uproar on the community. Before the day was over, Cygames had already announced they would give the crystals to all players once the riddles were solved, regardless of who was first. It's funny how they've multiplied those winnings by 10 for this event, but still haven't learned from it. And this brings us to the ongoing problem this lottery created. 
On Twitter, a Japanese hashtag was created called Grambly Retirement, where players declared they were quitting as a result of this. Whether they actually do or not doesn't matter, as it highlighted the crushing feeling of missing out on the prizes. To grind crystals to spark requires effort. 20 boxing events, going hard during Guild Wars to reach the top tiers. Suddenly all of that effort was given for free to other players. How many players are going to feel burnt out next Guild Wars? More so on the financial side, what incentive does someone have to spend money on the game when more than a third of the players got a free spark? I have a spark saved up for the end of the month, but now it feels like it's worth less. That spark might cause me to miss a later banner, when other players don't have that worry. Similarly, someone buying a draw may feel that their purchase is diminished after this. I never get that feeling after the roulette as everyone wins together, but the disparity between winning or losing on this lottery has created it. So what can Psy Games do to fix this? I honestly don't know. People have proposed trying to even out the prizes, but that depends on if they have the player data on who won what. If they give out some crystals as compensation, then those who won just get even more. There doesn't seem to be an easy fix. All I can say is tier 4 should never have been the consolation tier. What are 4 gold moons worth when someone with the free spark can get multiple moons on top of their own 4? Tier 3 should have been the lowest tier. A free grand is fine consolation when almost 20% of the playbase is getting a free spark, but that's unfortunately not the reality and this unlikely will be fixed. This event is going to leave a sour taste in the mouths of players for a long time. With how many crystals they gave away, they should have just held a roulette instead. Anyway, thank you for watching. Yeah, I knew we wouldn't win. Well, why didn't you tell the rest of us? Why didn't you keep it a secret?